Russian bombers again fly near Alaska for the second time in a row. Hello everyone, Jan here, Golden State Times, and today we have a news story. This one comes courtesy of foxnews.com, and it says that for the second consecutive night, Russia flew two long-range bombers off the coast of Alaska on Tuesday, this time coming within 36 miles of the mainland while flying north on the Aleutian Islands, two U.S. officials told Fox News. The two nuclear-capable Tu-95 bombers were spotted by U.S. military radar at 5 p.m. local time. Unlike a similar incident Monday night, this time the U.S. Air Force did not scramble any fighter jets. Instead, it launched a single E-3 Sentry early warning aircraft known as a AWACS to make sure that there were only the two Russian bombers flying near Alaska and not other aircraft flying underneath the large bombers. U.S. territorial waters extend 12 nautical miles from the shore. The two Russian bombers flew within 100 miles of Alaska on Monday night. The Russian bombers took off from the air base in Russia and returned five hours later to an air base in, in Anab Anadir. I hope I said that right. Both locations are in eastern Russia, some 1,000 miles away. Last week in Moscow, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said U.S.-Russian relations were at a low point during a news conference with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Larov. While Tillerson was in Moscow, a trio of Russian bombers flew near the east coast of Japan, forcing the Japanese military to scramble 14 fighter jets at various times to intercept the bombers. A Russian spy plane transversed Japan's west coast. Before Monday's flight near Alaska, the last time Russian bombers flew near the U.S. was July the 4th, 2015, when a pair of Russian bombers flew off the coast of Alaska and California, coming so close as 40 miles of Mendocino, California. It says that Russian President Vladimir Putin called then-President Barack Obama to wish him a happy Independence Day while the bombers cruised the California coastline. I don't know if Russia is trying to taunt us just like they did with Barack Obama, but he is playing with a whole different person now. You see, President Trump isn't the limp-wristed, you know, uh, apology-driven type of person like Barack Obama was, President Trump it is not a person that you want to taunt like this. It's not. President Trump will bomb you right in front of another country that's close to yours. <laughs> in the case of Syria, he literally bombed Syria in front of the Chinese president. It literally, he was just like, Hold on a minute. Let me just bomb something real quick. All right, bomb them. Boom, done. Chinese president's like, what the heck just happened? Ah, just bomb Syria. It's okay, though. Let's just finish her salad. See, that's, that's, that's the type of person that uh, President Trump is. I don't think Putin wants to mess with us at this point because President Trump knows what's going on. And he is not going to back down. He's not going to stand down. He's not going to take any chances. He'll bomb you first and then ask questions. So, yeah, folks, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think that uh, Vladimir Putin is trying to taunt us or he's trying to see what we're going to do or how we're going to react? And uh, what do you think about President Trump, uh, you know, being a person that doesn't play around? Right. That's the type of person that we needed here in the United States is someone that would actually act on stuff when someone or some country is provoking us. So if you uh, if you support President Trump, if you think that his tactics, his uh, judgment is on point, make sure you smash a like on this on this video and you share it on social media. And uh, what do you think about Russia and American relations? 
Rex Tillerson did a very good job. If you guys missed that press conference with, you know, the Russian uh, minister and uh, Rex Tillerson, make sure to check the link in the description below. And we hope that you guys join us soon for the next uh, bunch of streams that we have this week. And also if you check out the previous videos we did. They should all, all be in the link in the description below or at the end of this video. It should be coming up soon. But I hope to see you guys here next time. But until then, remember, I am Gent. I'm from Golden State Times. And I hope that you guys join us if you're new. Hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.